It's always hard to pick favorites at the Eyes on Design car show, but one that caught my eye was among this fantastic row of big fin classics. It's this 1960 Cadillac Eldorado Brome, and this one has its original three carburetor V8 engine. The Brome is a custom design and custom built uh, Cadillac that includes air conditioning, cruise control, and automatic headlamp control as standard equipment. But it's this electric sliding rear vent window that first caught my eye. That's beautiful. You know why it does that? Is this your car, sir? Yes. What's your name? Don McCullen. Don, uh, why did it do that? It pulls back so it doesn't stab you in the back when you try to get in. You notice how it, this would be out here, so yeah. it kind of gets you in the back. And the other thing is, this window will not go down if that doesn't retract. So when you hit the window button, the first thing that happens, that goes back so that can go down. So it does go down too. But it doesn't go down in a straight line. It goes down on an angle. No. Oh. So it would be running into this. So that's. I, I didn't realize it was for the window, but I thought it was just to keep it from getting stabbed in the back until I really got into studying it. Don, how long have you owned this car? Since 87. But I, I didn't restore it until about three years ago. So it, it's, uh, it waited a while. Was it an extensive restoration? Extensive? Yes. Also expensive. Although I do all the work myself, so that saves a lot. But you know, you still have like a big chrome bill and things like that. Now this is a limited uh, edition, obviously. Yes, it's uh, a uh, Eldorado Brome, one of 101. Made by Pin and Farina, the body. So when it was stripped down, no paint, you could see all body seams all over the place from where they, uh, where it's handmade. Where was it made? Italy. In Italy. Okay, right at their plant. Yeah. Okay. Wow. And uh, how did you come by this? Well, I had a '58 Brome that has a stainless steel top that people are more familiar with, and a friend of mine had one, and I, I saw his done. So I got charged up and did mine, and then back and forth with him, and he told me, well, I have this 60 Brome, but it's too much of a project for me. I don't think I want to do it. But he mostly did Mustang. Way simpler car to do. Plus, you can buy everything you need for him. This you can buy just about nothing for. Him. <laughs> so this is, uh, this is a, a restoration by piece by piece by piece. Uh, a lot of love. Yes. Well, congr I, congratulations, that's a beautiful. I, anything else you want to say? Well, what I do is I do what I call a unit restoration. So I take it apart, take something off like the generator. I do the generator, put it on the shelf. Then as I go along, I do these pieces and put them on. I call them unit restored, and it makes you think you're actually getting somewhere. Well, now, Don, you would have to have a pretty big uh, area, to, a lot of shelves. and. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> that's a pretty good sized place. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, and you, uh, you, this is a winter project or is this a year long project well, when you work on cars? A little over a year doing this. Mm -hmm. But am I working on a restoration all the time? Yeah. Yes. Well, what what are we going to see in the future then? Uh, right now, I'm doing a '57 DeSoto Firefly two door hardtop. Well, we'll be anxious to see it here at the uh, Eyes on Design show one of these years. Yes. All right. Well, congratulations. This is a beauty. Thank you. Thanks.